This is the Amp Hour Podcast. Released September 11th, 2022. Episode 602. Rigorous engineering stuff may be out the window. Welcome to the Amp Hour. I'm Dave Jones from the EEV blog. And I'm Chris Gamble of Contextual Electronics. What's up, nerd? Oh, you know, just 600 episodes in, apparently I started bumping microphones. Right. <laughs> during recordings. And... Is, is this actual number 600? No. Oh, this wait. is 602. 602. 602. Yeah, we did 600 the other you know, something. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah. I, I, I yeah. think we stopped keeping count at 100, didn't we? Yeah, I think so. Kind of, yeah. I was listening yeah. to episode 28 something, 2800 of, of Car Talk the other day. We got a long way to go if we really want to, <laughs> you know, I know those guys, one of them passed yep. away, but like, yeah, we, we got a lot of, a, yeah, we've got a lot, a lot of, of catching to up to do, you know, Joe, right. Joe, yeah, Joe exactly. Rogan's at like 1500 or something, yeah, exactly. isn't he? Yeah, exactly. Like, there's just, you know, a, there's a lot yeah, out there. So, uh, yep. yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, well. Yeah. We're still here though. We just plod along. Yeah. We're still yeah. here. Yeah. Still here? Still? I'm uh, still standing. After that's right. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. Anyway. All right. Kind of a big news day for us Aussies. Yeah. Uh, not just Aussies. Palms and... Uh, well, Palms and I guess else, uh, you, Canadians. you Yanks who are um, Canadians, yeah, not so New much. Zealanders. I mean, the world, really. Yeah. yeah. And, and, so we're and recording the world. this on Thursday. Yes. Uh, Friday, um, your time, right? So. Yeah. A Friday, my time. I just woke up uh, this morning, although it, it was... Sort of hinted at last night, but uh, Queen Elizabeth II has passed mm-hmm. away, which is we yeah. were talking about this before the show. You were asking me the general sentiment here. I, I think you know, like everyone's quite sad about it. You know, I was talking to someone in the lift on the way in here today, and it's like, yeah, like she's really upset about it. And, you know, people are sad because like everyone liked her. Like even the, yeah. I, I tweeted this last night, even the staunch Republicans, I'm not talking US Republicans, but the people who want an Australia an Australian Republic, i.e. to get away from the monarchy, you know, they want a president and everything else, yada, yada. Even, even they like the queen, right? Everyone likes the queen. She's been the monarch for people's, most people's living memory over 70 years. She just had a platinum jubilee. Her platinum jubilee, yeah. which is seventy years as the ruling monarch of Australia and England and all the Commonwealth realm, so yeah, yeah it's just yeah, I don't know anyone who didn't like her at all. So yeah, it's quite sad. And she was like part of the furniture. It's just like, as I said, most people's living memory. Like we we just don't know anything else. And and you said it it kind of feel weird to have a king. Yeah, it's yeah. like. Well, what? What? It's, it's it's like Her Majesty. It's not His Majesty, you know? So, yeah, oh, well, I, I guess they don't have to change the title of all the ships, you know? HMS is Her Majesty's ship. Yeah, right, right. right. So it's, it's, now it's His Majesty's ship. Yeah, we all have to pledge allegiance to uh, the king now. I guess that will come eventually. But, yeah, they actually revoke Parliament. They, they actually wrote, formally, they revoke Parliament here until... Parliament can actually swear an oath to the new king, and then they won't no. let them sit until they swear an oath to the new king. So yeah, it's a, mm. it's Interesting. still a yeah. formal thing, you know. Yeah, um, that's, so uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We did away with that a while ago. Yeah, right, yeah. You guys yeah, sort of yeah. had like kind of a war over it or something. We, we I've heard did some stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. 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 So yeah, yeah. I mean, but, we, uh, sad news all the same. Sad yeah, no, same, it's, so. yeah, yeah. It's sad. Like Queenie was like, yeah, everyone liked her. So hey, uh, the, the last time we thought about uh, this was 1999. We actually had a national vote on this and whether or not to, be re- to become a republic or not. It was voted nay. Nope, we're going to remain a, as, as part of the Commonwealth. But I expect there to be another mm. referendum in the coming year, I think. Yeah, I think. I, I sadly, I think the monarchy might die with her. Because like mm. she was the like she was the bedrock like the glue that still I think I think the institution itself like it it won't actually die but I think countries like Australia part of the Commonwealth uh, New Zealand Canada and all those they will be rethinking the whole Commonwealth thing I think I would expect mm. that so yeah I I I think it's that big a change mm. 
that yeah, people will reevaluate. I'm, I'm Plus quite re- sad. Reprint all the money, you know. Uh, d- yeah, something. oh yeah, all all the coins, all the coins have to be yeah. all, all the notes. Maybe you'll just go. Uh, adds, yeah. Maybe you'll just go uh, digital coins. You know, maybe that's maybe that's. Oh uh, yeah, over my dead body. You know. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so yeah, I'm I'm actually quite sad that I never got. I I always wanted I always wanted to see I always wanted the queen to go beast mode, right? I always wanted to you know like like her to just come out and settle some dispute in Australia or Canada or New Zealand or elsewhere and and or even in the UK and just go no, I have decided by royal decree you will do it this way. I you know and you'll stop the fighting and I, you know I have, I have and, spoken. I, I, have I have spoken. I have literally spoken, you know. <laughs> and I think if she did that, everyone would have went, "Oh, okay." The queen has spoken. That's it, everyone. Yep, on with business. I I think it would have worked. You know, I think everyone had that much respect for her that that would have worked. But she never really used her authority, her power like that. Because yeah, she in the Commonwealth, she has ultimate power over pretty much everything. It's really you know, it's quite all encompassing, and she never really used it publicly, so to speak. It was always sort of done. Things were. Mo- you know, moved and done behind closed doors with a a nod and a, you know, and a and a uh, quiet word to other leaders and politicians and yeah. stuff. So yeah, yep, yeah. shaking things so, up. It's interesting. Yeah. So Australia might become we we might eventually get a president out of this. I I wow. suspect that's kind of yeah. Yep, we okay. might ditch good, the good that. the prime minister. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, works out great in the US. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. Anyway. 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 Yep. That's that's yeah. the uh, public service announcement for today. London Bridge has fallen, folks. Mm. Is the official yeah. term. London Bridge has fallen. And uh, yep. yep. So there you go. What do we have on the electronics front? Well, personally, not much. <laughs> I uh, I'm still hot gluing uh, boards together and right. off the shelf nice. boards. Yeah. I actually I do have an idea. So one thing that I've been, you know, I don't know how much you've you've paid attention to, to these things. The I've been using like uh, quick quick boards. Have you seen those things? Those are SparkFun modules. No, there's so many things like that. Yeah, there's I a lot know. of breakouts and yeah. different standards and things like that. And basically, there's like a I think it's like an XST is the the JST uh, type of connector that's on there. But yep. it's basically like a two millimeter pitch, maybe less. No, actually maybe 1.5 millimeter pitch, four pin connector, right? So it's just like a standard right. JST four pin connector. You can get them anywhere. Yep. So they kind of, so SparkFun standardized on this and then Adafruit also did it. And so basically you get like kind of this, it's just a basically ground power, chip select and, and data, right? Or not chip select, clock and data. Right. And so I squared C only, and you know, there's a lot of sensors out there that are I squared C and now you can get a whole bunch of boards from spark fun from Adafruit and then other people have kind of adopted it too, which is kind of like these ad hoc standards. I, I do like ad hoc standards. I talked about feather last time. And the only downside is that so many of these chips are, they have like interrupt pins mm-hmm. and it's just kind of completely ignored. And so bo- almost by default, these things are like only for, you need like a five or six pin cable to really utilize it, but there's no standardization around that. And to get the advantages of the extra features. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, exactly. Right. Cause you know, like you almost always want to know, like, right. so if an I, so if you have an I squared C accelerometer and you have it like waking up when it starts to fall, you want to like interrupt the micro and say, Hey, take a reading right now. So, you know, I'm falling and take some action based on it or something like right. that, or, or have a shutdown pin. That's another common one. You know, I want to be able to like <laughs> yeah, shut yeah, stuff yeah. down. Right. And that's not there either. Yeah, you want to be able to re- remotely shut it down or remotely reset it. Or, you know, you right. want to actually exactly. break out the reset line or, you know, yeah. something like that. And yeah. yeah, this goes all the way back to like, you know, RS-232 days when, oh, somebody only implemented the three pin configuration, the transmit, receive and ground, yeah. right? And they yep. didn't implement any of the handshaking lines, yep. you know, they they just didn't route them through, you know, they just didn't bother. Yep. 
because you know, and like sometimes it would have been handy. Well, because wires are expensive and pins, right, no, you know, more connectors, more pins right. on a connector is more expensive. That's more, more pins on a connector is more. Yeah, I mean, it it really does have implications, right? Well, exactly. And so, uh, so one thing I've been thinking about with this though is like, well, you could make an interstitial board. So basically, have a board in between the quick headers. And basically, so stuff further down the line, you basically, you don't control it over I squared C because then it would be kind of moot, but maybe you could, but, but basically have like a low power power switch kind of in between so that you can mm. then go and turn off the power to all the stuff downstream because they all can daisy chain together as well. Right. And yeah. so that's, you know, kind of on my to-do list for near right. term. Well, that's the, that's one of the things when, when you're designing a product, how much flexibility like that should you build yeah. into it? Yeah, totally. Even if you're designing like a test or a debug interface or something like that, do you bother breaking out the reset line? Do you bother, you know, breaking out, you know, other debug lines or other useful or other potentially useful interface lines, you know, like, do you implement individual power supplies for modules so that you can bring up and shut down, you know, sequence. You can, should you go to the effort to power sequence stuff? I don't know, just in case, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm sure if you're building a uh, space probe that's going to uh, Pluto, then yeah, you're probably going to want that sort of flexibility. But if you're just designing your little farty novelty widget, yeah, right? totally. Probably yeah. not. Well, you got to um, draw the line somewhere, right? It's always right. about where you're oh, drawing yeah, the yeah. line on these things. Uh, and I think, you know, and I think for a general use case, actually, you know, they made the right choice, right? Like it's small, it's, uh, you know, it's it's fewer wires so that, you know, like you don't have as much many wires, like the bundle of wires isn't as hmm. as thick and stuff like that. And, and most of the time, you know, these really, I'm kind of using them out of spec anyway. It's not out of spec, but like <laughs> right. I'm using these things as right. like kind of more quasi-production Instead of like, you know, spinning my own board in this case, I'm trying to just kind of glue stuff together and, yeah. and make it all work. And uh, really, these are meant for like, you prototype with it and then, okay, you put it on your own board and then you're, you're good to go. So like, oh. I, I get it. But uh, yeah, it is a little, little frustrating sometimes because mm. then it's like always on, <laughs> always polling, that sort of thing. So yeah, just, I think the real answer is, Chris, make a custom board. Right. Okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> but, but you couldn't be asked to do it, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, been there, done yeah. that. Yep. yep, too lazy. Yeah, I mean, uh, well, I'm, I'm probably after this. I'm going to shoot my video about doing the designing the TTL implementation of my MacGyver clock oh, okay. project okay. thing. I'm going to eventually get around yeah, yeah. to that today. Yep. And like, am I going to bother to build it up? Nah. Am I going to bother to draw it in CAD? Nah, I just draw it in Dave yeah, Cat. And yeah, and yeah. and even then, will I even bother to like do do the entire pin out and do a complete schematic? Nah, probably not. You know, it's just like yeah. You know, the rigorous engineering stuff, it may have gone out the window for us. Uh. <laughs> right. For this simple little project. Yeah. I don't want to spend yeah. any more time on it than possible. But yeah. anyway, speaking of t- spending time on something, a bloody JST and JST connectors. Mm. Oh, we get ah, oh, what a pain in the ass! Last night, what, what, um, it, yeah, yesterday I tweeted a photo of this. Um, you know, I got one of these huge uh, EcoFlow battery things. You know, three point six kilowatt hour battery oh, things. Yeah, yeah. My latest video, right? I did a tear down mm-hmm. of it in the old garage, yeah. by the way. Thank yeah. you very much. I really like the old. I'd actually, segue here. <laughs> we'll get back to the JST connector in a minute. I really enjoyed being in the old garage with the roller door and having the light come in. Just having the light. That's all there, and just having like the breathing the thre- fresh air, and it's just like, geez, I, I think I'm going to shoot more stuff in the garage now. Yeah, you know, it, yeah, it, I mean, it makes good. me want to have like, you know, there's something about having a ga- a, a roller door, like a garage door, that to mm. your lab that you know, either a lab or a, you know, either a garage door or a big you know industrial roller door or something that you can just roll up and you can just like do things sort of like semi out in the open. You know, sure. You know, you got to be careful though, because you know, drop bears can hang. Oh right, yeah, of the, course. The door yeah, when yeah, it rolls it's up, it's always yeah. dangerous. But yeah. gotta watch, watch out for them. Mm. Um, but otherwise, yeah, you know, yeah, those and the spiders and the snakes and everything else. Yeah, yeah because yeah. like about 10, well, uh, 10, 11 years ago, like I, I was making a real big decision: should I actually move from this, sell this place, and actually buy a uh, like in another industrial park, which is like just across the road here, kind of thing. And it's got these sort of like roller dory type, you know, like it's it's like half office and it's half like you know roller dory garagey kind of thing, you know. And they're 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 really cool. Yeah. I just yeah, I kind of envy anyone who's got a a roller door lab. Well, 
you know, in northern US, you probably wouldn't be in certain times of the year. But I, I get right. what you're okay. saying. Right. Yeah, we're here. <laughs> like even yeah, yeah it's yeah. well, technically, it's not winter here anymore, but it's you know only yeah, a yeah, week yeah. out of winter. But you know, there I was with my t-shirt. No worries. You know, it's all good. <laughs> That's great, man. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean, I'm sure it's you know, it's always nice to go back to the old old yeah. hunting grounds and yep, try stuff out. And... Yeah. So I'm going to yeah, I, I'm going to get more big stuff, I think, and just shoot it in the garage and at home, but. Yeah, anyway, I enjoyed that. And so JSD connectors. And well, no, 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 I haven't finished yet. Oh. And those mobile trolleys. Like I got one I got one for the lab here and I also got one for the home garage, you know, like it's a trolley on wheel, like that's a workbench on wheels and it's got, you know, the tool drawers underneath and stuff like that. And that's great to sit a project on and actually wheel it around. You know, like you can, like instead of moving your camera, you can just wheel the trolley around and, you know, change oh, orientations yeah, yeah. and work on it. And you can walk all the way around it. I I do like the island bench thing. I've always been a fan of island benches. And in particular, yes. moving, moving island benches. I mean, you're, if you don't mind me stating one of your weaknesses in this way, uh, is you, you tend to put stuff all around the island. <laughs> yes, is, uh, it's hard one to of move. The it. Yeah, well, yeah, on yeah, the yeah. floor, <laughs> but you know, come on, uh, yeah. you know, the sentiments there, right? No, I, I yes, used it totally. here the other day, right? I was able to wheel, I was able to wheel the bench just behind me for like a shoot, so it was in the background. You know, I didn't mm, have to yeah. move my camera gear to it. I moved the bench over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I almost bought. This was uh, oh eight years ago or something, I almost bought like a big 130 square meter place, like, you know, almost mm, three times yeah. bigger than what I've got now. I probably should have because it was reasonably cheap. It was in a different part of the park. And my and my plan was to have lots of island benches so that each project could get its own bench. You know, each mm. project would have its own bench and then you could walk around the bench. So you could w work on your project from any angle. You could shoot, you know, in, in because I shoot videos for a living, right? I, I want to be able to, I can shoot videos from any angle and stuff like that. And, and you know, if you're, if you're not working on the project at the moment, you can sort of like move, you know, you can sort of like wheel the thing off to the side, you know, so you can have like a bunch of projects and everything to do with that project is on that one bench. Yeah, yeah. you want basically like the uh, Amazon uh, robot robotic uh, moving the bench to you instead of you moving them to the bench sort of thing right right like that's yeah and and everything all the parts all the tools for that you know all the you know if you're in the middle of it you know tearing something apart it's all you know it all just sits there rather than you know you just have your one workbench it's, it's Sorry, really Dave, I, luxurious I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna say that you probably still would manage to fill everything up with uh, oh, stuff. of course yeah <laughs> yeah so i just yeah. get more benches you know <laughs> well you know that only works for so long you well, know, eventually then, you run into then, then, yeah. then you buy a bigger place you know you that's buy another one yeah that's the that's the whole yeah, idea eventually eventually you run out of atoms in the universe though. right yep <laughs> ah boy anyway island benches i really like i'm a big fanboy of island benches so yeah no it is nice for that sort of thing yeah, yeah. Highly recommended. So, yep. JST connectors. I'm glad you asked. Before you do uh, JST connectors, what is an e EcoFlow battery? What is this thing you're tearing down? Oh, it's it's a home storage battery. It's a, well, it's it's a portable like home storage. Huh? Sorry, like on the go, like a. Uh... Looks like it's on wheels. It's so like portable you can thing. Roll it's around. actually you can actually wheel it. It's got one of those uh, trolley, you know, luggage pull out handle things. So you yeah, can okay. physically wheel it around. Yeah, it's it's designed to take camping or to put in your R V or to use at home mm. and then have the ability to take it, it somewhere else. And so it's a big battery bank, but it's also got solar power in like solar inputs so you can hook mm. up solar panels to it or you can hook up external generators to it or you can uh, it's got a charger so you can just charge it in the mains or whatever did i tell you that i got my battery confiscated when i was coming back from germany no i'm so pissed about really? that really yeah. what battery it was i mean it was a monster it was like well <laughs> anything over 100 watt hours i believe the international yeah, airline I limit was. is 100 watt hours was it bigger yeah, than that yeah i didn't know that uh, i didn't know that uh, yeah trap for young players yeah. yeah, yeah. I I think it. I think it was something like that. And like, uh, no, I read it was one eighty five on the. It was one eighty five watt uh, kilowatt hour. No, wait, is that right? Watt hours. Watt hours. Watt hours. Yep. One hundred eighty five watt hours. Yep. Yeah. Whatever it was, I think you're right that like they said the limit was a hundred, but I'd read on. I actually had gone on the airport website oh, and right. it said one hundred eighty five okay. or something like that. Right. And they're like, yeah, you can do that, but you have to get like approval from the airline. 
And I'm like, right, okay, right. I'm not gonna <laughs> do that. I uh, so you just rocked up hoping you'd get away with it. No, dude. I had no idea. They're, I just had no idea. Like I was just clueless. Yeah. I mean, they, this what is, I should have done is just left it in my bag like I, I did on the way there, and they would have right. been like, "Oh, look, a yeah, battery," because yeah. yep. they always just say, "Look, a battery." Yeah. No, th- this is why the new Tektronix 2 series scope, which is a portable battery powered one, right? It's ah. it's got these hot swappable batteries. That's one of the reasons it's got the hot swappable batteries is and and um, each battery is less than the 100 watt hour, I think it's 96 watt hours or something. It's less than the international airline limit. So w- yeah. what you do is you leave one in the scope and then you can carry the scope on board and then you put the other one in your carry-on luggage and that that's how you can ship. You're not supposed to you leave know? Oh, and your carry-on, not in your checked luggage. I say, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Checked, sorry. Yeah, ca- checked. No, no, no. Yep. You're not supposed to put it in the check. You're supposed to put it in the... Oh, it's supposed to be on the carry-on, is it? Yeah, it's not supposed to be in the hold. Oh, uh, is, there, is there another limit for checked baggage? I'm know. not sure. You can put something yeah. in your checked baggage, can't you? I don't know. I don't All know. I know is Whatever. I was very yeah. upset with some German German <laughs> security folks, and they they didn't have much sympathy for me. Also, I was no, running no. really late, so I was like all sweaty. And yeah, like, yeah, of course. Yeah, it was, you know, so they've so. obviously destroyed that battery, have they? they oh, it's didn't long let you... gone. Yep. It's long gone. Yeah, I did love it though. It had like a, you know, it actually had like a DC to AC converter on it, so like I could plug my right. laptop in. It was awesome. Oh yeah, right. Yep. Yeah. And I didn't see that on many others. So, anyways, I will try and get another one, but because that is super useful, like the fact that yep. that's even a thing <laughs> is like super cool. I don't know. Oh yeah, no, it's yeah, it's great. Anyway, these the yeah, these batteries are very cool. It um. Yeah. Okay. So uh, EcoFlow, same kind of thing. Bigger. Yeah. Similar batter. sort of thing. It's a yeah. yeah. It's got everything. Huge. It's got everything but the kitchen sink built in. How much does it weigh? Forty-seven kilos. Oof. So you multiply that by two point two. That's a hundred and putting on your back ten pounds or something. Yeah. 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 It's in a. Little, it basically little weighs as much as my wife. So it yeah. weighs the same yeah. weight as my. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Right. Yep. It's pretty heavy. Yeah. 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 Careful there, buddy. <laughs> and, and you're right. Yep. I'm gonna cop that. Oh boy. <laughs> she 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 doesn't listen to this anyway. But either either way, just right. careful there, buddy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. Anyway. Well, anyway, so you tore the whole thing down. JST connectors. JST, yeah. No, I tore it all down and then I put it back together, right? And it was very careful. Uh, yeah. to, you know, there's lots of cables in there. It's very careful. Yeah. To, and there's lots of screws to put it back together, right? So I was very yeah. careful to make sure all the cables are in, right? I double checked. All the cables are in. Yep. Gave them a you know, wiggle. Yep. 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 They're all pushed in. Put it all back together with the 20 million screws. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, it works. It powers up. But then I was using one of the features of it, which is a fast charge, it's slow fast. charge, switchable oh. feature, right? Mm. And and that's got a physical switch on the back panel, you know. And 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 I was realizing why my software, like you know, it's got an appy thing, whatever, on your shoe phone. Mm-hmm. And I was sure. wondering why it wouldn't enable that feature. And because it worked, it 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 had worked a day before, right? Actually, sure. before I tore it down. But it's professionally put together. Yeah. <laughs> and then it dawned on me. Oh God, I've 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 left the cable off, right? I've mm-hmm. let because like it literally like there's a tiny little board that all it has is, is a switch and a two pin JST connector, right? And it's yeah. just for that switch. And obviously that switch needed to be shorted in order to enable that mode. Uh, yep, right. Yep. So that's why it, that's why the software didn't detect it because the switch wasn't closed. And so I reluctantly took it apart, but surprisingly, I found that that cable was plugged in. Hmm. And and it's like like I tried to push it in further, and it was like, nope, it's 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 plugged in as far as it goes. Then I uh, actually got the meter out. I actually buzzed it out, and sure enough, the switch was not thing. You know, it, it wouldn't wouldn't work. Dead it up. wasn't active. Yeah. It wasn't getting over to the main board via mm-hmm. this JST wiring to wire harness thing. And then, so I took it off and like, and, I'm, and then I'm getting pliers to try and insert it because it's a bit difficult, you know, the angles, yeah. unless you take it all right, you know, fully apart, it's very difficult to get in there. And, and I put it back together and it finally, like it finally worked, but the, but the connector looked like it should have clicked, like it should have yeah. had that little bumpy clicky thing, but it didn't. Yeah. So I think it's, you know, it's just a poor quality connector they got from the I mean, it also Shen- could have been you, like, jamming factory. the crap out of it, right? I mean, like... Oh, uh, well, yeah, but I didn't, like, I wasn't brutal with it. Like, I, like, it literally I came know. apart once and I put it back together, like... I mean, so I'm, I'm you know, I'm speeding through this video. I know. This is, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's not, like, fatigue. What? I just mean, like, no, you could no, have just no. jammed the, 
jammed a thing together. But like, <laughs> this is a intense looking build. Like, this is not this is not a. Oh no, no! I was very impressed. Yeah, is... It's it's a really serious. It's a really good example of how to build a robust, a big robust item, and all the boards are conformally coded, of course, because it, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. yeah the, whole, the whole idea is you throw this in the back of the ute when you go camping. Right, so it's going yeah. to get you know thrown around. It's going to get vibration. So, so they've got elastic holding down every component. You know that could mm-hmm. potentially yeah, yeah. vibrate and flap around in the breeze. And you know it's yeah. it, it's pretty well done. Yeah, no, no, it's but it's, you do pay top dollar for it, of course. Sure, yeah, that's the so, other thing I was going to say about it. Yeah, it does yeah. Look expensive. yeah, and there's lots of really rugged, molded plastic in it and start like in this huge metal standoffs as well. And it's got huge big carry handles. Cause you know, it's got to support the 47 kilo weight. You thought about like, instead of bringing like a big battery like this camping, you could just uh, do wireless charging. That would probably be. Oh, of course. Yeah. 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 Probably better. That, that's obviously right. the solution. You yeah. Could, I do. Right. You, you could beam, beam it, down beam it from, from a local tower to uh, like, or satellite. Local, satellite's can, even better. You, yeah. you can do yeah, a yeah, Tesla yeah. style. Yeah. 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 Right. Why right. not? In the atmosphere. <laughs> please, please tell me we don't have a wireless power segue. No, we don't. No, oh, good. It's just, oh, it's just always, you okay. know, just a yeah, classic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this, 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 this is a really nice build. This is a really yep. nice build. Yep. I found out my sister got a new car. I'm just looking at one of the boards that you're you're poking through right here, and some yeah. of it's unpopulated. My sister got a new car, and they just left features off. They just said, right. yeah, you know, well, yeah. it's a brand new car. We'll we'll let you know when the board comes in. You well, that's what uh, Tesla were famously yeah. doing. They were literally yeah. leaving out seat warmers. They were leaving out yeah, other features. Yep. They were just, yep. um, look, we don't. My have sister does not. Uh, she's yeah. not in the Tesla uh, echelon of uh, right. Okay, buying cars. Uh, no one in my family is. Or what uh, car is it? Like, can know, we name some... and shame some? Oh Toyota. no, was it... probably a Toyota, something like that. Yeah, I don't know. Toyota yeah. Crappyola or something, right? No, Toyota no. great. Toyota cars are great, man. No, not not for you. No, I we we went on a road trip in my Toyota Corolla. Yeah, great we did. cars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we went yeah. from Sydney to Canberra. Well, you said, we, we went you said Crappiola. I don't know, like yeah, yeah but no, that was trying. just a name for whatever generic oh, variant they're it, bloody producing. It, you know, it. Yeah, I didn't mean to yeah. say no Toyota. If you want a reliable car, buy a freaking Toyota, right? Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. Sure. Like I have been watching uh, the fully charged show. Do you watch that? Uh, oh YouTube yeah, channel? sometimes with Walt. Uh, a, a little Lillian, flashy. He was the he was on Red Dwarf or something, yeah. wasn't he? Well, I don't. Yeah, yeah well, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I never watch it. Yeah, it's you know I catch it here and there. Yeah, I like sometimes it's good. Sometimes no, I have actually criticized them in the past for. Oh, yeah. getting, okay. getting stuff wrong. I, or, I think for me, I just don't really have any, like, I'm not like checking out trade magazines. I don't know what's out there. So like when I catch like mm-hmm. a new show, a new car, I'm like, oh, okay. You know, like a new, right. like there was yeah, a yeah. new mini, no MG. That's what was surprising when it was like a new MG that's coming out newly. It's all electric. So like, that's cool. And I think we did. Yeah. Cause we talked about them. I think the first time I'd seen them was when they were talking about the electric delivery trucks, or the UPS trucks. Right. Or something yeah. Like that. Yeah. That we talked about that years once. ago. Yeah. 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 Yeah, you know, so still, still watch it. Still, you know, still not in the market for an electric car. <laughs> <laughs> right. Cool. Well, yeah. you wouldn't be able to buy one anyway. You just, you just can't That's get them. That's true. That's true. Know? You know, yeah. so not to, there was some politics stuff that is funding uh, car stuff in the US. Mm-hmm. So like that was like part of a, a, a bill package. I was very surprised to learn 85% within like a couple of years, 85% of the battery pack on these cars has to be built in the US. That seems bonkers to me. How many years? I have no idea. I don't know how many years that is. Like, I right. just know that eventually, I think at the end of whenever this probably like they 10 years from now. always make these plans. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure. But, but still, 85%, like, nothing is 80, like, no electronics in a car is built 85% in the US. Like, that no, is, no, it just, if that it, does happen, it, it, that's no, insane. So, no, no, it is not going to happen. Where do the Maybe rare earth yeah. minerals come from? Good luck, you know. <laughs> Like yeah, yeah, right. I, I don't. I don't see them like picking Where does up. Where your cobalt on... come from? I don't see many yeah, U.S. Right, cobalt right. bonds. Right, right, right. You know, yeah. it's like probably not going to be doing that in downtown mines DC and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Apparently, there is lithium in the U.S., but it, but again, it's just like who's going to go get it? You know? Yeah, like, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So no, it's um. Know. Yeah, no. They claim no. All this, all this new environmental um yeah, push yeah. is like is not going to happen. Because, you know, everyone, like Australia just signed an environment, you know, we have to go X amount of renewable, and you know, green energy in the next five years or something. I don't know. I can't remember the details. It just sure, sure, sure. passed the other day. And it's like, it, it's just not going to happen, right? They just like, you know, so many things have to 
like, you know, it has to cause so much pain to so many people in such short a time that it's just, yeah, they make all these plans and they, you know, it's, it's just not going to happen. So, yep. Well, I, yeah. Take it with a grain of salt, you know. I think grain of salt is right. Yeah, I think that's yeah. true of any kind of like, you know, incentivized pro- program, program like, like, like that. Yeah, but, yeah. but, you know, like the the money that's behind it for like, you know, if you want to get like a, so like if you wanted to get like a discount on a car in the future, you know, like they're doing now. I don't know if Australia, Australia still does that or no for electric cars. Like, did you oh, get a no, discount? We've you never car? had an EV discount. Never here. had that. No, yeah, yeah, okay. no. Yeah. The best we would get was, oh, you might get 50 bucks off your rego or something, you know. Um, <laughs> yeah, you know, like, uh, <laughs> yeah. That ain't doing it. Yeah. No, no, no. It's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. no, I, I, I envied everyone who was buying freaking Teslas for like 30 grand in California. It was like, yeah. holy shit, they're like $80,000 here. Yeah, you know? well, you guys get other the small one, you know? stuff it's like, too, right? Yeah, 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 we've got other stuff, but you guys had so many state subsidies and stuff like that. Some states, yeah. Not, and not and then you were getting state, state subsidies for, uh, you know, putting the solar panels in to power your Tesla. And, like, there were some people in some states who were telling me the car's almost free. It's like by the time they installed the solar yeah. system and got the subsidy on that and the subsidy on the Tesla or whatever, it, it, they were practically getting it for free over five years yeah. or something. Yeah, it was bonkers. like it was that good a deal. Yeah. And, of course, the uh, taxpayer, you paid for that, Chris. So congratulations. Sure, sure. Yeah, that's okay. you, know. you know, well, you know. Yep. And your uh, kids will be paying for that. So, yeah, well, congratulations. Yeah, that's fine. You know. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Anyways, yeah. So 85%, we'll see. Eh, right. You know, that's, yep. yeah. They're, they are building a new uh, battery plant in North Carolina. I was surprised to oh, learn. Okay. I think maybe I mentioned on the show in the past, it's like, you know, it's in the boonies. It's in the middle of nowhere. So. But it's, it's going to be big. It's like, a, so I think it's a, I think it might be Toyota who's building it, like in conjunction with Panasonic. I should right. look that up, but no, yeah. So North Carolina, mm. big battery plant at some no. point. So we, uh, I'm sure I've mentioned this on the show before. We shut down literally every auto making plant in this country. Yeah, yeah. they're 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 all gone. We we uh, Toyota, Mitsubishi, Ford, and Holden at least. I think they were the big four. They all manufactured cars here locally. All mm. now gone, completely, yeah, utterly sucks. gone. It's yeah. it's just yeah. so stupid. It was such yeah. a stupid thing, you know. Yeah, and they just yeah, let I mean, it die. Not, uh, yeah. Mm. Anyway, if I want to see my tax dollars being spent on something, I would like to have seen the mandate. <laughs> you know, I generally don't like mandates. <laughs> not a man, fan of mandates, as a lot of people know. But mm. in in this particular case, the government could have mandated that all new government cars had to be built here in Australia. Sure. They they sure, could have sure, simply sure. mandated that, and that would have kept the factories going. You yeah. know, or at least some of them. Right. So, yeah, I mean, it's tough yeah. too when, like, when there's, you know, you think about all the support stuff, though, too, like uh, machine shops and just like, oh, yeah, I always oh, forget it's about huge. that. Kind there of were thing. huge you know, flow like, on effects. Yeah. Yeah. Massive. Yeah. That's like, that's, that's the reason that sometimes it is one directional. You know, like, you think mm. about like what's going to, you know, you can't just like turn it off and turn it back on again. Right. So mm. if you oh, lose no. all these factories <laughs> and then like, no, no, and then gone. all the supporting businesses all yeah. go too, it's not like, you can be like, nah. oh, actually, yeah, never mind. We've we lied. We should come back. It's like, no. well, yeah, all no. those machinists just retired and all of <laughs> yeah, those yeah. That's support it. staff just lost their job and now works, you know, they retrained, like they're gone, yep. man. Yep. So yeah, it's, it's really coding, good. They're you know, thing. they're like. <laughs> yeah, right. They're at boot camps. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah, the, the old learn to code thing, you know. Yep. Yep. Oh, that yep. was hilarious. Yeah, someday, Dave, we will. Someday. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Another oh, thing we boy. may learn about someday. Uh, so this is actually a really cool post from Thorsten Knoll on Medium. How to print a 3D cell for like a semiconductor. So did you see this thing? No. Is it on our list? It's on our list. Yeah. What is it listed as? Uh, open source IC cells as 3D prints. So basically, if you ever wanted to like visualize what it looks like, to make a standard cell on like the Sky 130 process. Right. So, you know, like all of this. Actually, that's another, was that not on her list? I don't know if it was. That's a cool educational yeah. thing that you can give students and go, well, look, you know, it's you can physically see the 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 layer structure of the yeah. yep. cells yep. and you do it in different colors for different layers. You know, it's like, that's right. yep. yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. Actually, nice. so the reason this has been popping up too. So actually past guests, uh, Uri from Wakwi, he just released another thing. This is further on. This is on our list too. It's just further down. Yep. I thought it was. I thought we already talked about this. But tiny tape out. Do you see that thing? I I've had a look at that. That's yeah yeah yeah. 
It's yep. so crazy. So what it is, is if you haven't seen it yet, basically, uh, Rui was on the show talking about Wakui, which is basically a simulator for doing Arduino type stuff or Espresso type stuff. And yeah, it's very cool. You have to check it out. The Pico, you know, so you basically you can go and kind of hook up like a digital version of a circuit, like on a breadboard and see how it actually, actually is simulated all the way down. And we mm. recommend that that episode was awesome. Like Uri's amazing. But then he goes and does this other thing where basically now he says, okay, well you make a digital circuit using this schematic program, which is on, you know, timey tape out as part of Wakui basically. And then yep. I'll take that circuit, which is basically a schematic and then convert it to a tiny actual silicon design using backend tools and the open source tooling. And then it'll get yep. some, some of them by lottery that get submitted to the, the shuttle runs that are happening at Skywater, which is like, Oh my God, right. that is, that is so cool. So can you simulate these digital gates and stuff too? No, I don't think you actually have much visibility into the, uh, I think it's all at the like schematic level. So you're basically using yeah, yeah. like primitives. So if you click on that video, the tiny tape of video that, yeah, that Matt Venn I'm was here sharing. Now. Yep. Yeah. So like at the two minute mark, you kind of see him hooking stuff up. So like buffers and logic gates, or gates, and gates, that sort of thing. Yeah. But I'm, I'm wondering if that like actually simulates and you can drive that lead display because this is perfect for my MacGyver project oh that's a good like point yeah if, if, if this actually did sim I, you know i can use some other digital simulator yeah to sort of you know uh, simulate it i guess but i i just yeah i don't know yeah something like this might be perfect for what you're trying to right. do you know like and then and then you could eventually submit it to be actually made into silicon as well which is like <laughs> i could get a custom asic for my <laughs> macgyver yeah, be... bomb project oh <laughs> my goodness project. oh yeah, that's yeah. just that's insane yeah, that's just yeah, nuts. Yeah, that's uh, wow, wow. It's, uh, it's another level. Yeah, talking to Uri is. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's. So I don't know how far that's going to go, but then anyway. So then Thorsten basically did this thing where now it's you can take the GDS files, which are basically I think it's gate train source, but basically it's yeah. one of the formats that then can be processed by the fab. Right. Basically, working off okay. of old knowledge here from anything else <laughs> yeah but then you can convert it into an actual 3d visualization of the different layers because basically you're saying you know you basically are making these standard cells and you're saying okay at this at this layer i want to have uh you know this section open this section closed i want to have uh mm -hmm. you know a diffusion hole down to this other layer that sort of thing and then you're doing implantation all of this stuff is in the open oh what the hell do they call it Man, I'm so out of my my league. <laughs> All of the Skywater stuff, they have like the open the open kit for how they right. actually make the different components. Let's see. So further down the page on this Medium article, there's a process stack diagram. Yeah, of the I can Sky see. I'm looking at that now. PDK. Yeah, process, and yeah. that's yeah. It shows yeah. It just shows the different uh, metal layers, the via layers, and you know yeah stuff the like that and, want, and then the, the polysilicon gate gates down the bottom yeah yep. exactly basically all, all the basically all your all your gates are down the bottom and then all your metal actual routing is on yeah. the is stacked above that that's right yeah pretty much yep. so yeah 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 and i think i've mentioned on the show but like we did this when i was learning this stuff at samsung back in the day like i had no knowledge of it prior i did very very poorly in my chip design classes in school uh right <laughs> but the a couple of people actually made like 3D models using like I think it was SketchUp at the time, mm. and just that is so so helpful to actually understand like yeah. what's yeah. happening, what do all these things mean? Why do you need to have some sections open, some sections not open? It's just like yeah, that is this kind of like 3D assembly and 3D like modeling of what it looks like so so helpful. Yeah, so I don't I don't know if it's to scale, but I don't think I don't think it even matters. Oh, right? it, like, it, 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 matter. it it makes no yeah. difference, right? Yeah, 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 yeah totally. Yeah. yeah, so no, that's great. Yeah, hats off, fantastic. Yeah, very yeah. very cool project. So Thorsten, nice job. Yep. I don't know what to do with the 3D prints afterwards. Like, I think they probably just sit on your desk. Kind of looks like a weird, like almost like a key. Well, for as a... I said, like it's an educational thing. You know, it really yeah, gets yeah. the students, you know, head around physically what's happening down at the micro mm -hmm. nano nano these days. <laughs> micro, geez, yeah, when I was yeah. a boy, one micron yeah. process. You know, right, the size of a human yeah. hair. 
<laughs> yeah, right. Yes. <laughs> Transistor the size of a human hair. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's good stuff. Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah. Yep. Anyway, speaking of old, old school. Yeah. I do like the Vintage Tech Museum has actually released. Oh, yeah. The new employee orientation video for Tektronics. <laughs> the new old video. <laughs> the new, the new old, video, old video. It is not for the new employees unless you like coming in a 1960s Cadillac yeah. or something and, you know, with black your... Black glasses uh, and a white white shirt with a yep. black tie. Yeah, like, yeah. Black tie. <laughs> <laughs> and th- this is a 22-minute long... Yeah, this is the video that they showed new employees, I guess, at the company. You know, where your first so. day on the yeah. job, you'd get sit in a room with five other newbies and you'd sit down and watch, you know, this new employee orientation video. I haven't watched it all yet, but I'm flicking through it. Oh, yeah. man, i got to watch yeah. this. This looks great. Right, it's like, right. yeah. Probably the... Uh... You know the uh, the official Tektronics brand cigarettes that you could hand. Uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is it? Is there anyone smoking in the video? I don't see. It. No, I don't think anyone is smoking in the right. video. But uh, right. yeah. it's just sold to smoke. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh sorry, boy, but, oh. I'm just at 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 five minutes forty eight. I'm just looking at. There's this woman who's soldering. Oh my god, she's her the grip on this wooden handled. Oh my god, yeah. Wooden handled this, soldering iron. Oh my god! What? Yeah, this is just. Oh my goodness! This is like, uh, like it's, right. she. She's like holding it like a like stabbing style, stabbing yeah. style. If that's the correct. Yeah, term. I think that's right. Yeah, like right? Uh, yeah, yeah, like, like you go to stab like, someone. Re, you know, re, like re, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. In um, you know, psycho oh, or something. Man. I I can't. Yeah. I cannot imagine working with this many wires and. Oh, just what a oh, mess. That's great. Yeah, wiring harnesses and point to point and tag board. You know, yeah, tag board. Totally. Like, you know, I, I come from an era where tag board was a thing. You know, you would open up your, you know, uh, his master's voice radio, right? HMV is like an Australian thing, his master's ah, voice. Okay. It's a, right. Okay. Yeah. For those who yeah, 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 outside yeah. Australia and uh, <laughs> also not old enough to remember. Anyway, H- you, know, you open up your HMV radio, it was all like tag board construction for those who don't know it was like you would like there was this like uh, like a strip of little solder tags and you would just wire your components point to point on these solder tags so that you you didn't have boards you would have solder tags you know and that's how or, or you might have a board in there for some complicated function but other simpler functions were done with just tag board so yeah yeah I, I think you still might find it these days in, say, a passive uh, crossover in a speaker or something like that. You know, you might find like the, you know, the uh, L's and C's yeah. in there and in a, you know, some sure, sort of sure. crossover filter point to point wiring, you know, still find it there. That's probably the only example, I don't know, that I can think of these days. I'm sure there's others. Yeah. Leave it in the comments, but, you know. This is yep. such, man, this is such yeah. a timepiece yeah i know and it's, it's like just... oh yeah 1973 remember we were talking about this last time uh, yeah. 1973 50 years ago holy crap <laughs> yeah yeah it doesn't say like yeah because yeah. no i don't know if i mentioned this on the show ever before but they use so you know i work for the company a company that was bought by tektronics and yeah. I think it was someone when we were there, but they were telling us about like how vertically integrated it used to be at tektronics oh yeah uh, they 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 spun their own tubes and everything like yeah. they, they like like they did their own CRT tubes and their own vacuum tubes. I think the whole yeah yeah yeah. But this was like to the level, and again, this is not me. But like they'd have a machine shop where they'd like you'd order oh, a yeah. desk from yeah. them. Was that you know like you'd call down and order a desk yep. for your office? That that's crazy. Yeah, right, <laughs> it's, it's it's just yeah nuts. Yeah, I can I can remember working at Australian Defence Industries. I didn't spend long there, but uh, yeah, I had a short stint at uh, Australian Defence Industries at Garden Island here, which is a naval base here. Mm. Yeah, they they had their own machine shops for everything. You know, like you could if you just wanted something made, you could just go down to the machine yeah, shop and get yeah. it made. You know, yep. like custom built for you. You know, it was yep. yeah yeah it was great. So yeah. It's crazy. So anyway, we'll we'll link this. Oh, you got to watch. Oh my God, the hair! Oh, the hair! Yeah. yeah. Oh, the have a look at have a look at I twelve minutes forty eight. I I know exactly. What you're yeah, talking about the yeah, right, yeah, right, right. Oh crazy. my God, the beehive. Is it the beehive hairdo or whatever? That's a beehive. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Right. Oh, that's great. Yeah. With with the sunglasses inside, oh, like yeah. a boss. 
<laughs> wearing the aviator sunglasses inside. She's wearing the rose colored glasses yeah. inside. That's just, yeah, I don't think they're protect, protective glasses. It's, well, maybe they are. I don't know. But that, this is great. This yeah. is great. Oh my God. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Oh, the concentration on her face as she's, is, is she spinning tubes? I think she's doing CRTs. I think, I, those I are think CRTs she's that spinning vacuum CRTs. Yeah. 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 Like she's like working on this spinny table thing, which has these. Yeah. I think she's glass blowing the CRT tubes or whatever. How, yeah, however yeah, they yeah. construct those. And, yeah. 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 Oh God. Oh, surfer dude. There's, there's surfer dude. We'll let people watch it, Dave. Come on. Oh, it's great. It's cool. oh, it's yeah. just, just terrific. I'm loving it. Now that I know that the there's more of this, uh, <laughs> there's more stuff on the list than I thought there were. <laughs> I saw a bunch of upvotes and I was like, oh, that must have been from like la- last time when we talked about it. But it, no, it's been yeah, it's been a while. Yeah, so. it's it's been a while. Yeah, I think we skipped a yeah. week or something. Yep. We uh, did. Yeah, it was yep. a holiday last week. So right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's all right. We don't have to do this thing every no. week. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're the we're, boss. We're we don't ever hear on. from anybody. Yes. <laughs> yeah. We 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 hereby, by royal decree, Dave and Chris <laughs> have decided that we will <laughs> we will release an episode when we feel when we feel like it. That's right. It's uh yep. Yep. By technical decree. All other all other requests for a new episode can be sent uh, on the back of a twenty six dollar bill to the uh, <laughs> following address. <laughs> oh boy. Yep. Yeah. Uh, okay, what else we got on the list? Like ten minutes left. Oh, geez, they're flowing today. Yeah. Well, there is this uh, open circuits book. I think that's been out for it's been announced for a little while at least. But uh, that's uh, Eric and Wendell. I think we maybe mentioned it a little bit on here, but basically, possibly. Yeah, there's a new book. So Eric Schlepfer and Wendell Oske basically took a bunch of circuits and then. Put them on a bandsaw, and yep. I'm very excited to see this. Thing. We've definitely mentioned it before. Yeah, oh, we have mentioned it. Oh, okay. it, it yeah. It's actually been physically released now because I know they'll take in pre-orders or whatever. Ooh, yeah, I got, got it, got it, got that's, it. That's okay. that's that's what it was. That's why we mentioned it because they had announced it and they were showing like sneak peeks, and you mm. could download like the first chapter or whatever. I mm, think you can yeah, download the yeah. first chapter from the website so you can get a a feel for what's there, and it's just gorgeous coffee table book. Yeah, I'm pretty yeah. sure I mentioned this before. Is that every tech company should have this as a coffee table book, like oh, you know, totally. just just yeah. in the foyer? I would totally have this, right? Mm-hmm. If I had like an EV blog foyer, you know. If you had a foyer, right? <laughs> right exactly. Right. <laughs> you could just like glue it to the front door of your office. <laughs> right. I could. I I could just leave it down in the foyer of the building. I could like. There you, you go. Know, there's, there's what like, if you did it like an old phone book where you had it like on a cord? Oh, on, know, a like cord, like on a cord. On a cord. Yes. Yes. So people could thing, uh, yeah. read it as they're waiting for the lift. I could just leave it on a chain. Yeah, exactly. Hanging yeah. from dangling out outside the lifts, and people could go, "Oh, look at this! Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. That's what's inside my iPhone? Really? Uh-huh, you know? uh-huh. Yes. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, it's 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 gorgeous. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna yeah. have to get myself a physical copy. It's just great. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, yeah. then we've already talked about that before. Uh, what yeah. else then? Um, I don't, I, uh, come on. What's this DC powered house thing? No, I don't want to talk about that. The, the DC nano grid house. No, right? no, no. I don't want to do it. No, 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 no you don't want to do it because, you know, like some people, well, no, look, it's worth talking about. People ask this. Why don't we just have DC running around our house? Well, it's, why don't we have DC running around our house, Dave? Well, I squared our losses, you know? That's it's right. It's like, you know. Because <laughs> Transformers are friggin' awesome. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, switching power, yeah. Like, yeah, we could do away with all these switching power supplies if we all just had a 12 or 24 volt, uh, mm. like, outlet instead higher, of a 240 higher. volt, not like 110 volt rubbish. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I like, but no, it's just, it's not, no. No, you, you quadruple, I don't know how much copper, extra copper you'd have to, like physically thick copy you'd have to run to power all the mm. stuff. It's just, uh, it's like, I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, Purdy University has run it. I do remember one of the first consulting things I ever got was like someone, like I was almost a brand new engineer and someone's like, yeah, I have this idea and I I, I need someone to work on it. And so they, they, they had me sign an NDA. Yeah. And I was like, okay, yeah, yeah, I'll sign, I'll sign this NDA. And they're like, I want to put USB ports into wall outlet switches. 
And I was like, there's no way you could possibly fit that. That would never, ever work. I can't work on this. I'm sorry. And of course they have it. Like, that's yeah. no problem at all. You know? Like, yeah. <laughs> I, as an engineer, I had no, how to, no idea how to do it. Now, as an older, more wise engineer, yeah. I still have no idea how to do it. It, it. it is a big problem, though. <laughs> Every one of those wall outlet USB things that I've mm-hmm. used and installed has failed. Every single oh, really? one really? Yes. Because oh. there's... Heat death, you think? Yeah, yeah, or it's, uh, it's, it's got to be. Zappy, I haven't Zappy investigated. It's, it's got to be. The, uh, it's got to be heat death. Yeah, because they try and, yeah. you know, shrinkify it down and then they, they do pot put it, a lot of stuff in there. And then they usually yeah. pot it. You know, you can buy them at your yeah. local supermarket. And yeah, as you, like you mentioned, there was an Aussie guy. I can't remember, but this is probably 15 years ago now. Yeah, he he actually, he tried to patent it and, you know, I think he did. Yeah, I, I mean, think is, there's, like, okay, I think he spent right. like hundreds of thousands of dollars trying to patent the damn thing. Yeah, it was USB in a PowerPoint. And he got, okay. I think it was granted, and then he went, yeah, there, there's got to be an article out there. I'm sure I've shared the article like a decade or 12 years ago or something, like right back at yeah. the start. Yeah. Yeah, the guy like failed because he spent so much money. No, I, I think, no, uh, people fleeced him or something because yeah, he had this probably. brilliant idea about USB and a PowerPoint. So, oh, yeah, okay. So all the all the patent attorneys come in and fleeced him for the cash. Then those inventor companies you know those invent oh, that man. that turn your invention yeah. idea into a <laughs> a viable product. I think they they like fleeced him, and oh, totally. I, I I think he even wrote the article himself or something. How I got fleeced? Oh God, it's I, I'll see if I can find it. But yeah, I, yeah, the idea is not that know. valuable. No, 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 the, it's the not. The real problem but, is you, know. you got to spend about five percent of your money on the the patent uh, filing. You got to spend five years percent of your money on the development of the idea and the other 90 percent, and then however much else you can scrape together to go and sue anyone else who has any idea about how to do it themselves because that's right. really that's really that's where the money is is the suing everybody else <laughs> exactly no, it's, yeah. it's yeah. just i uh, anyway yeah i i felt sorry for him at the time that yeah he just yep i mean generally yeah. it is a good idea I mean, and now we see usb powerpoints everywhere right i mean they're yeah. they're built into every yeah. airline seat every everything right but uh I, i'm just looking at a pattern from this that was granted in 2016 really yeah really mm. it's like oh, come on you know it's it's just taking the piss yeah it's just yep no nah. anyway anyway you can patent any like you can't patent the idea but you can patent your method of doing it you know so to speak so you know, yeah, design patents and similar. Yeah, right? yeah, exactly. Here's my method. I'm going to mount the USB vertically instead of horizontal. Woohoo! <laughs> Patent granted. You know, rubber stamp. Yeah, Congratulations. Yeah, yeah, you know, you yeah. own the vertical USB market. You know, like oh, God. Yeah, yeah. Nah. Anyway. Uh, yep. Um. Did you see that the chip printer was in here? Why the world relies on ASML for machines that print chips. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Did we want to get back into it? No, this is this is a this is a joke title. But, a joke uh, title. Okay. Right. Yeah. yeah. But it is about ASML, which is, you know, legitimately one of the most important companies in the entire world, right? Yes, basically they, they, they make the yep. They make the lithography equipment mm. that basically enables everything else. Where are they from? They're from one of the Nordic countries, aren't they? Or They're one of the Nordic countries. Yeah. That's right. I'm not sure. I Which can one? never remember the bloody Nordic countries, so I just call them the the Nordic countries. You know, sorry. I think it's my... Norway. I think it's Norway. Right. Okay. Yeah. Finland's on the right. Norway's on the left. Sweden's in the middle. Denmark's I, down below. Denmark. Sub, I don't know. Yeah. I'm sorry. Know. Sorry. I'm sorry yeah. to all of our we're, listeners. We're just, um, no. yep. Yeah. Yeah. We're. We're no, just Yanks and Aussies. Stupid. Yeah, we've got no yeah. idea. We're just on we're the just, other side of the planet. No. Just, we got our own things going on. Do you know we drop bears are in Dave's garage <laughs> right exactly. now? Exactly. Right. Just waiting. Just hanging out on top of the garage door, just waiting to drop on them. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Anyways, yeah. yeah. So this is you know this is like a key thing, and this is of course there's been tons of articles about how they can't build the machines that build chips so that you can't build more chips. So you can't build more more chips. So you can't build more machines to build chips and on and on and on and on. Uh, so Mm -hmm. yeah, that's, uh, that's been an ongoing saga there, but man, these, these machines are just insane. You know, like nanometers, single nanometers. So yeah. And at high speed. Got it. 
What has Alpha Phoenix done this time? He's done a video. I changed the speed of electricity in brackets. Electricity, not electrons. What's this mm. about? He's talking about propagation. I didn't watch it. In fact, mm, I haven't nope. watched it either. Yeah. Anyway, he does really good videos. They got really nice animations and really nice production values. And yep. was Alpha Phoenix the one that did? No, that's uh, one of the response videos for. He was. He did the first physical build response video to Eratasium's, you know, uh, yeah, circuit yeah. question thing, Moon to uh, Earth to Moon. Yeah. You know, flicking a switch, yeah. light bulb question. Flicking yep. a switch, right? Yeah, totally. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I'll have to watch that one too. No. You know, we do appreciate people adding this stuff. I don't, uh, I haven't been on Reddit much at all lately. I really should, you know. I don't use Reddit at all, here. apart from mm-hmm. our Ampower thing. I know, right, exactly. Yeah. You put links. We should probably log in before the show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, if I see something, I, I pop it in the Reddit thread. Sure, you know? sure. So sure. it happens. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, hang on. He's He's got a garage lab. Mm, I can yeah. see he's physically got the roller door open yeah, and he's, well, yeah. There's yeah. something to emulate right there, but does right. he have drop ears? Don't know. That's the key thing. Yeah. But, mm. I think you had posted a little bit about this on Twitter, but there's some other stuff about, basically there's, China's kind of getting cut off from certain stuff. So like, uh, mm-hmm. apparently they're not allowed to have, nvidia stuff anymore <laughs> yep uh, yeah. and there's been some well back and forth a certain about... nvidia stuff not all nvidia it's not no yeah. certain certain levels but there's there's nothing new here i mean there, there were I exports, yeah, no, no, no. there were exports controls on the bloody playstation for goodness sake you know there were? yeah oh, I didn't know. don't don't you no. remember that yeah the the yeah. the playstation i think it was the playstation 2 at the time please correct me in the mm-hmm. comments but anyway it was one of one of the playstations was such supercomputer level at at the time that they there were export controls you could not sell it to uranium fancy in countries let's put it that way who might build some gadget because (laughs) they could use this for simulating you know implosions of certain devices got it yeah they they just it was such a powerful gpu in the thing that Mm. yeah it was it was export control so yeah yeah Mm. Yeah, I, I think it's just, it's still interesting to me that there's statecraft like this sort of stuff coming up. So mm, I don't know. Yep. Yeah. Anyway, I, I it, it's no, absolutely no surprise. This happens all the time. Like, heck, I yeah. can't even buy certain MOSFETs, right? Out, really? Outside of the US, you can't even buy certain MOSFETs. Mm. Which, uh... because they're deemed to be so fast that they're used in said gadgets. Uh huh. That you know, yeah. This is like are, uh, ITAR stuff, and like that. it's yeah, it's all these regulations, and you know, mm-hmm. you you can't buy a Fleur thermal camera that's over five frames per second outside the US. Huh. They're actually limited. I should I should be taking advantage. Yeah, I should take advantage. You you, you know? should take advantage of that. You you can get your full fifty frames per second thermal imaging. Yeah. Everyone else has to live yeah, with see five. See how fast I can you know? blow up a, a MOSFET yeah. myself, you know? Right. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you can <laughs> you can film your MOSFETs blowing up with your high-speed infrared camera and, you Bingo. know. That's all yeah. I've ever wanted. Yeah, yeah. And I can't do a thing, you know? <laughs> That's right. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, maybe right. we can, you know, maybe some back-channel stuff could happen and, you know. I'm not yeah. shipping you one, Dave. Just, just saying. I'm not shipping you, you know? one. I'm not shipping you one. Come on, just, just, it's just. I didn't even MOSFET. like shipping you a poster. I didn't even like shipping you a poster. <laughs> used, used MOSFET. Used, used MOSFET, MOSFET is the official description. There you go. Just saying. Yeah. 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 Good old machine parts, as yeah, the, right. as the, uh, yeah, yeah. Just, just, just a pro tip for those who want to send real money through the post: machine parts, mm. right? Yep, Coins are machine yep. parts. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Pro tip. Anyway. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Bloody restrictions. All right. Last. Really? Last? Article. What else we got? Sure what? it's I last. I think last. Okay. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. All right. Um, Our hour's up. Oh, there was a uh, tip of the week sort of kind of. Nah. Well. The Max 77958, does it count? Do Maxim parts count? Are you able to still buy Maxim parts? I don't know. I mean, they're analog devices parts now. Well, but, yeah, uh, you know, they're still Maxim to me. Yeah. Yep. 
USB Type C and USB power delivery controller. Oh, I'm I'm interested that. in that. Yeah. So where's okay. the uh, where's that uh, the was dink? number chip of the week? That's uh, not a very good article title, but uh, eighteen days ago, chip of the week. Jeez. Oh, yeah. Let me just send you a link. Mm. Oh, eighteen. Oh, jeez. You're really dregs. You're really dregs in it. Chip of the week. Well, oh, jeez. Yeah, you are. Here it yeah, is. Well, you know. Yeah, you're, you're really went down the I'm list. Looking there. for the good stuff. Looking yeah. for the good stuff. <laughs> right. Yes, yes. Standalone US Type C USB power delivery control. I am currently interested in this. Okay. I won't say why, but I'm currently interested in uh yeah, because when when I've rolled USB power delivery PD stuff before, it's it's a complicated bastard, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you can get a micro with it built in, you know, for the for the micro supply uh, project we used. Yeah. Yeah, a, a part but we we had like it was an ST semi stack that it was a software stack that did the USB power delivery and it's like a like a 30k software stack just to implement bloody USB power delivery and it's like yeah. like no, just give me a chip that I plug and I solder under my board and it negotiates my 10 amps or whatever I want and it's all built in and I that's all I want. Yeah. Maybe with an I squared C interface so I can, you know, just yeah, tell like it how much configurations and, and yeah, yeah, yeah. That, like that, 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 that that's all I want, right? Yeah. There are uh, Chinese makers who make these really simplified USB power delivery chips now, hmm. which they did. I, I don't think they existed even a couple of years ago when we were doing the micro supply. Like four yeah, years I mean, ago, when you guys or something. started. I think it was not. Oh, it was quite some time back. There weren't a lot. I remember you were saying there weren't a lot of PD bricks out there. There wasn't a lot of power delivery sol- solution parts out there. No. Yeah. No, right. there just wasn't much at all. So there was. So we had. So we ended up going down the path of like the complex ST yeah. part chain, and there was another chip we used. Yeah. I can't remember off the top of my head, and it was. Yeah. You know, it it was a complicated thing to get working. It's really hideous. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, anything, every anything that takes away the pain gets my chip of the week vote. So mm, okay. I don't know. This one seems. No, I haven't tried it on this. Yeah, this does seem pretty simple. Yeah, like it's got a lot of. Oh, it's got like just GPIOs as well. So it's like got its own little, it's its own little microy thing, rather than yeah, it's just like, like an LEDs AD. and stuff like that though yeah, too. Yeah, right? They were, right? They've all got micros internally, yeah. you know, and then wrong like yeah. mask ROM stuff like that. So yeah, I'm I'm really after just like an eight pin SO package. That's USB in and enable and you know like hmm. power out. You know it's yeah, fine yeah. if it uses an external uh, you know power transistor or something. I don't know, but what yeah. is this? This is interesting. Interactive data sheet. I mean, it's a web page. Interactive data sheet. Yeah. This is on the max. Of, oh, I see it. Interactive data yeah. sheet. I am clicking. I am clicking. Yeah, it's not bad. I mean, this is probably what they use to generate their their pdf from i can copy paste values that's pretty nice huh? i don't boy that's nice actually so like in uh, i'm not you... seeing any i'm just seeing regular tabs and uh, maybe you're not allowed to do it because you're not sure yeah <laughs> yeah it is, i mean the interactive data sheet that's what i'm seeing it is just it's just a web page right that that's what it, they're it's calling just a it. web page and there's general text and there's it it, it yeah, looks like, the like first register page map and there's absolute oh re, re, register map i don't see register map all mm-hmm. I've got is revision history. I can go to detail description, pin specifications. I'll go to pin specs. No, pin all spec. I can do is call up yeah. images. This is not very exciting, Chris. What are you talking about? Go, go to the go to the right. Where where are you? Go, I just I, sent you a link. Go to click on that link I just sent you. Yeah, you know, this has been on my list for a while. Of like, yeah, no, this is no. It gives me the, the same thing. thing. It's like it. I I just get a bunch of tabs. It just looks like a regular web page. Yeah, it is a. That's what I'm saying. It's just a regular web page. But if this yeah. is, so like, PDFs have been the standard since yes, basically we started scanning in yeah. paper data sheets, right? But like, yeah. Why? What's 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 the, downside, what's the advantage of this? You can copy and paste stuff. You can like, so you could go and well, you, you could, can copy and paste from PDFs as well. No, it's it, it, it isn't as elegant. Sometimes it's a bit. That's terrible. Yeah. They're harder uh, to search. True. Right. They're not indexed by Google. Yeah. True. Yeah. Okay. Nah, that's not always true. Some of them are indexed by Google, but they're... I would not call this an inter. Yeah, but with, with like using the word interactive, I expected. Yeah, okay. that's true. Interactive is overused here. Yeah, yeah. Yes. You're right about that. Yes, it's but just I a think... web data sheet. I would just call this that's web, a, web. That's a better name. Yeah. Yeah. That's a better... yeah. Interactive data right. sheet would be like you'd be able to like put in a value and it'd be like, oh, actually you need 
this size inductor and that's what you, know, you that got me all like hyped this. up for that that's what i was expecting no, i was sorry. expecting like little formulas built in so i could like you yeah, know yeah, like in the app circuit and then i could like spit out a yeah. value or it would do something exciting yeah. like that but this is just... yeah that's kind of like the uh the ti national right. instruments whatever yeah, that yeah, was those yep yeah, yeah the ti uh, yeah. yeah i can't remember the name of them but yep power designer or something yep. like that so yeah yeah power design or something like that yep well, anyways, yeah, you know, a bit of a letdown at the right. end, but yeah, not a bad part. Not a bad part. Okay. All right. Fine. All right. Yep. Cool. Well, I guess that's, that's it. We have burned all our time on that. Yeah. So we have. we'll be back without reading links in another two weeks or so, or and whenever we feel like it. Yeah. By then, Australia could be a republic. Who knows? We'll find out. Yeah. It's probably. Tune in not. for the next. <laughs> no, it's not going to happen that quick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Catch you next time. See you.